Today, I want to show you exactly how cassava properly processed, correctly balanced, and intelligently used can turn your feed costs from a nightmare into an opportunity. When you first hear cassava meal, you might be tempted to dismiss it as a struggling farmer's ingredient. But research tells another story across Kenya, Nigeria, Brazil, and Thailand. Studies consistently show that cassava can replace 20% to 40% of maize in poultry diets without compromising performance if handled correctly. And that is where most farmers get it wrong. They either use raw cassava, which contains anti-nutritional factors, or they use too much, which leads to pell meat, pell egg yolks, poor palatability, or dusty feeds that irritate chickens. Before I tell you how to solve these issues, let me explain the reason cassava works so well. Despite these challenges, cassava is a high energy ingredient, often matching maize in metabolizable energy, but far cheaper and more available. It gives farmers an escape route when maize prices rise overnight and feed costs threaten the entire business. It is not about abandoning maize. It is about widening your toolbox, making yourself less dependent on one expensive ingredient and embracing a locally available alternative that your grandparents used long before commercial feeds existed. And this is the moment many farmers miss. The power of cassava isn't simply in replacing maize, it's in combining cassava meal with the right protein sources so that you maintain quality while cutting cost. Before we dive deeper, do me a quick favor, like and share this video, subscribe if you haven't, and tell me where you're watching from. Also, if you want to know everything about making your own poultry feed, check out our full poultry feed formulation course through the first link in the video description below. Before we get to the exact formulations, there are critical things you must understand about cassava. Cassava meal is naturally white. That lack of pigment means birds fed large amounts of cassava will produce pale egg yolks and pale carcasses. Consumers don't like pale products. So the first trick with cassava feed formulation is to pair cassava meal with a pigment source that can be cassava leaf meal, sweet potato leaf meal, or even young grass powder. The moment you combine these, you fix the color issue and your birds get a boost of vitamins, minerals, and natural antioxidants. This is why cassava is chosen, not because it's the only option, but because when balanced correctly, it reduces cost dramatically without hurting performance. And before you start making feeds, keep this in mind. Poorly prepared cassava or unbalanced formulas will hurt your birds, but correctly formulated cassava feeds will give you faster growth in broilers and stronger egg production in layers than you might expect. Imagine you're preparing feed for layer chicks. Traditionally, you need good quality maize, soybean meal, fish meal, bone meal, premix, salt, and methionine. With cassava, the structure is the same. You're simply substituting part of the maize with cassava meal so you cut cost. For 100 kilograms of chick mash, the cassava meal sits at 20 kilograms, maize at 37 kilograms, soybean meal at 30 kilograms, fish meal at 8 kilograms, cassava leaf meal at 3 kilograms, bone meal at 1 kilograms, vitamin premix at half a kilo, salt at 0.3 kilograms, and methionine at 0.2 kilograms. This formula gives chicks the energy they need from cassava while still providing enough protein from soybean meal and fish meal to support strong body development. And the balance of bone meal and premix keeps their bones strong and immune system ready. As birds move from chick stage to growers, their nutritional needs shift. Layers have a long journey before reaching the laying house, so you must condition them with strong bones, steady weight gain, and balanced growth. For 100 kilograms of growers mash, cassava meal increases to 30 kilograms because growers tolerate higher energy without risking fatty organ buildup. Maize becomes 40 kilograms. Soybean meal drops to 15 kilograms. Fish meal sits at 6 kilograms. Cassava leaf meal increases to 6 kilograms. Bone meal rises to 2 kilograms. Premix remains at 0.5 kilograms. Salt stays at 0.3 kilograms. And methionine remains at 0.2 kilograms. This grower formula prepares your birds for a healthy, productive laying period. And again, cassava shines here because it allows you to extend your feedstock, reduce cost per kilogram, and still maintain quality. Now, when your birds reach laying stage, this is where many farmers panic about performance. But cassava works beautifully here when you get the balance right. For 100 kilograms of layer mash, cassava meal becomes 40 kilograms, maize shifts to 20 kilograms, 
soybean meal 20 kilograms, fish meal 6 kilograms, cassava leaf meal 6 kilograms, bone meal 1 kilogram, and oyster shell 6 kilograms. Because now calcium demands are high, the premix is again half a kilogram, salt 0 0.3 kilograms, methionine 0 0.2 kilograms. This formulation supports strong eggshell formation, maintains yolk color, keeps production stable, and reduces feed cost significantly. Cassava leaf meal plays a huge role in yolk pigmentation here. Without it, your eggs would be pale and customers dislike pale yolks, especially in local markets where color equals perceived quality. While cassava works beautifully for layers, many farmers ask about broilers. I know that question is coming. The truth is broiler formulations with cassava are still being researched. Cassava can absolutely work for broilers, but the balance of protein, energy, and digestibility becomes even more sensitive because broilers grow fast and any mistake shows immediately. I am currently analyzing multiple scientific papers and once the data is strong and consistent, I'll bring you a complete broiler cassava feed formula. For now, use cassava confidently for layers and layer growers because the results are proven and stable. But there's something important you must never forget. Too much cassava meal, especially poorly processed cassava, will make your feeds powdery. Powdery feeds irritate chickens, stick to their nostrils, reduce intake and lead to slow growth or drop in egg production. If your cassava feeds start looking like dust, you need to adjust immediately. One solution is pelleting, but most small-scale farmers don't have pellet machines. Thankfully, you have alternatives. You can add molasses to bind the feed or add fat to improve texture and energy. The other powerful method is wet mash feeding. Mixing the feed with a small amount of clean water reduces dust, improves digestibility, cools the birds during hot weather, and encourages stronger feeding behavior. Many farmers using cassava have seen remarkable improvements simply by switching to wet mash during heat stress. And this brings us to something deeper. Cassava is not a shortcut. It is not a miracle. It is a smart tool that works when you understand balance, texture, pigment, and protein. It allows you to fight back against unpredictable maize prices, unreliable feed mill formulations, and the constant pressure of rising production costs. When you use cassava the right way, you put control back into your hands, the farmer's hands, where it belongs. If you learned something new from this video, remember to check out our feed formulation course. And, and if you want to continue learning how to reduce feed cost, click the video on your screen right now. I will show you exactly how to make poultry feeds the smart way. Click it and I will see you there.